Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can create our plants in the stripe and we successfully created this plant. So let's delete this plant. So you can't delete this because it will uh, throw that uh, you can't delete any, uh, this plant contain a price. So you can archive this if you want to delete this plant. So I'm deleting this. Why I'm deleting this? Because I want to create this plants in the stripe as well as in the database also, right? so go back and uh, this plan will not show anymore in the in there yes it's displaying only test so now the time is to save this into the table so we are getting this plan here so i want to save this into the plan variable right so here you need to uh, add this into your database so what is the name of our model so our model is uh, our plan model is representing this uh, uh, printing this plans table okay so let's click on this now it will add this at the top okay it's named this models plans so this would be the laravel plan right so here you need to create call the create method and this create method accept an array and in this array you need to define let me check that database column so we contain the plan id first okay you can uh, set that plan id here right so i'm naming this two and oh, let me add these keys it's a name so uh, this plans will return us some parameters right so let me die dump this and uh, check that uh, you know, I want to show show you that uh, which parameter it will return uh, after when we submit this. Save this one. Save. And uh, yes, we did a mistake. So let me comment this out. So it's going to work. Save this one. And 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 wait for a moment. Invalid currency. Oh, it's auto edit this. So let me change the currency here. So it's a GBP and save this one okay and yes now it's saved and you can check this value attribute and click on this and check that uh, what parameters are saved in the stripe so you can get these uh, from there so this is the plan ID which which is coming from this plan variable so now let's save this ID here so it's uh, inside the plan and then this plan contain the plan id so this uh, we are getting all the values from this variable so this variable contain the plan id and what is the next so next is plan name so it's it would be the what is the name of our plan so let me find the name it's a product okay it's a representing the product so you need to name this product and then this would be oh you don't need to name this like this so you need to make this name because we added this name in our database but we are receiving this product so we need to uh, get this from product property okay what is the next so we need to type the amount so we also created this amount so we can say that plan amount okay what is the next so next would be the billing okay it's a interval so in our case i think we uh, created billing method so let me name this billing method here and we are receiving this uh, from plan uh, it's a interval right we created this billing method and uh, plan id and stuff like that so let me check that live mode is off because we uh, added uh, <clears throat> we are added this uh, like uh, fake keys it's a test keys so if you uh, want to um, uh, make this on the live so you need to add the live keys in the env so it will work like uh, it's live mode is on automatically okay so you don't need to define any parameter right so we name this like this amount and stuff like that so save this one and uh, let's go back give it a refresh the one plan is created so we are going to create our new plan okay 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 wait for a moment and here I'm going to name this uh, basic uh, 
plants, I will delete the existing basic. I think there is, uh, I think I deleted this already. Okay, so I am naming this, uh, um, how much price? I want to make this 15 and currency would be GBP and then interval count, let's skip this and then choose it for weekly. So click on this save and uh, yes it's stream their general price does not have a default value okay let me check that price contain this uh, hmm i forgot this price here it's a uh, oops uh, where is the price i named this amount so this would be a price so save it again and it's still saying that currency does not have a default value okay so name this uh, currency okay copy this currency and get this from the plan oops it's a plan and then this plan contain this currency so save it again and yes now it's throwing that plan id can't be null so this plan is oh we are receiving this id not plan id so because we are getting this plan variable and in the plan variable there is a id field right and in the database we have a plan id so that's why it's uh, did a mistake so save this one hope it's going to work and it says plan column stripe plans it says incorrect date format hmm. weird stuff so let me check that uh, why it's not working plan id plan id contain this so let's go to the migration maybe we have different types it's a plan oh we added this id integer so it's not integer it's a string right so copy this and roll back uh, so i hope you know that how to roll back a specific migration if you don't know you can check out my video that how to roll back a specific migration it's a action migrate uh, enter the path and hit enter and yes it's rolled back so let me yes php artisan migrate hit enter and yes it's migrated and click on this save again and yes it's trending success so it means that our uh, plan is created in the stripe and database our uh, plan will be uh, created twice or thrice time in the product because we created it uh, many times so let's give it a refresh and also check that is it stored in the database or not and yes this plan is uh, created in the database and uh, name is this one so it stored this uh, product name and stuff like that so we need to grab it from its property right it stored this uh, id right so it's it would be a billing method interval count is automatically set price is this currency is this so let's go here and yes it's created this thrice time okay and yes it's created here so in the next video we are going to uh, in the next video we are going to what we want to do so let's check this in the next video i will meet you in the next one bye bye